Hello team, welcome to our mainframe class. Good day all. So today we are going to start a specific topic in the mainframe that is SMP. So it's very important in the mainframe. This is part one video of SMP. So let's start with today's topic. So this is the agenda. So in SMP courses, we'll try to cover all this concept. So this is first video and first part of SMP. So today we are going to cover the overall concept of SMP. So here we'll discuss three zones. First is global zone, target zone and distribution zone. Rest of part will cover all these. So we'll discuss about the element SysMod, SMP working environment. Also we identify the batch and ISPF interface to SMP. Also we try to install a user function using receive, apply and accept. Also we'll explain how to remove a SysMod and restore it. So all this topics will cover in all the SMP parts. So I believe there is five and six uh, parts is coming. So let's start with today's topic. So what is SMP? So SMP is the GOS tool for uh, managing the installation of software product on GOS system and to track the modification of those product. So this is the general purpose we used SMP. So SMP controls some changes at the component level. So what are the changes? So it's selecting the proper level of code to be installed from a large number of potential changes and it's calling the system utility program to install the changes also keeping records of the installed changes by providing a facility to enable you to inquire on the status of your software and to reverse the change if it is necessary so all these changes done by smp only also all code and its modifications are located and in a SMP data set that we call CSI. That means Consolidated Software Inventory. So which consists of one and more VZAM data set. So SMP can be run either using the batch job or using the dialogs under the ISPF or PDS. With SMP dialogs, you can interactively query the SMP dataset and create, the, create and submit the job to process the SMP commands. So you already know GOS is the complex system and uh, comparing a many different uh, smaller blocks of code. So in this diagram, you can see uh, each of these smaller blocks of code perform a specific functions on in the system. So each system function is composed of one or more load module. And in GS environment, a load module represents the basic unit of the machine readable and executable code. And this load module uh, are created by combining of one or more object module and processing them with the link edit process. So previous video we will cover what is the link edit process and function of link edit. So uh, load modules are uh, like here link edit of the modules is the process that uh, resolve external reference and addresses and uh, this function on your system therefore a uh, one or more object module that have been combined and the link edit process so most of time object modules are sent to you as a part of product and uh, other time you might need to assemble a source code sent by you by the product package and uh, to create the object module so you can modify the source code and then assemble it as a product and the object module so next one is the element uh, of the system so 
beside object modules and source code most product distribute many other parts such as micros help panel c list and other gs libraries member these modules like micros and other type of data and code of the basic building blocks of your system all of these building blocks are called elements and uh, elements are associated with and it depends upon the other product or service that might be installed on the same gs system and they describe the relationship uh, in software has with other products or service that might be installed on the same gs system so that's all for this video thank you all for watching this video please like share and subscribe this channel and in next part we'll start with the sysmod what is sysmod and types we'll continue with the next video